Hi there folks, welcome back to another video. This is Dawn at Affordable Desert Living. And as you can see all around me is this beautiful growth as a result of all the monsoon action we've had lately. And it's kind of funny because these gorgeous flowers, I can't remember what they're called. Um, I was hoping maybe I could transplant some from another location. I had no idea that my property would end up with lots and lots of them this year. So they just add a, a really beautiful touch, I think. So today we're going to continue on the Waterfall Wildlife Pond Saga. And we ran into some pretty serious engineering issues. So let's get started and take a look at it and uh, see how it all turns out. So the very first order of the day is to uncover our pond. And in this case, we're using two old bed sheets to keep things that slither and scurry from falling into the pond. tells me that these, this area here has to be built up quite a bit. If I build this up with these additional rocks, then we'll have a level surface around the perimeter of the pond. Trying to mix some cement and I'm thinking maybe these gloves have kind of had their day. Probably need some new ones. So we'll put a level on this uh, later and just see how it turned out and, um, and then build it up in any area that it's kind of low. <laughs> okay now what we're going to do here is uh, build up some of these areas and again try to create like a bowl like shape to capture the water on these uh, cascading areas or cascading steps, for lack of better words, um, and so that the bowl just spills from one to another. So, so that's the goal. So let's give it a go. And just like that, we're all out of cement. So off to town. Town's only 12 miles away, which isn't too bad. And uh, we can get some other supplies while we're there. That looks like uh, it's uh, pretty free of all those crumbs. And uh, now we're ready to uh, put down the underlay. So the sheet of underlay was pretty big, so I think what I'll do is just cut it in half. I think that'll do. So uh, now it's time to put the pond liner in place. So this is the pond liner. I got this at Lowe's and I originally thought a seven by 10 foot section would be enough for my main pond, which is five foot across and 30 inches deep. And 
I quickly realized that wasn't the case. I needed to go to a bigger size. So I got a much, much bigger piece to go into the main pond. So at seven to 10 feet, this is gonna require some cutting down for the cascade section of the pond, the waterfall section. So um, let's get going with this one. So once I get the rocks all laid over this to disguise the pond liner, then if I have to trim some off the edges I can, but I'm really hesitant to do any trimming until all those rocks are in place. Okay, now we're ready for our wrestling match with the big pond liner. One of the questions I had was, there's two sides, a shiny side and a dull side, which side goes up? dull or shiny. Everything I could find online said it didn't matter, so I'm going to put the dull side up just so it looks a little less um, shiny and bright and, and not as attractive, I think. So anyway, here we go. Time for the pond liner. Exciting stuff. Let's do it. take the shoes off. The stuff is pretty sensitive. Okay, I think that's pretty good for now. Um, I can make some adjustments later on if I have to. As long as there's no water in here, then I can uh, adjust as needed. But once the water is in, then it's going to be a bit of a problem. So, got to do it right. So I wasn't really very happy with the, the pond liner showing all around the rim of the pond. It's a matter of time before the water evaporates some and gets down below the rock rim. I thought maybe there was something I could do. And first I thought, well, I'll just line the whole inside of that pond with stacks of rocks. But there's two problems. Number one, it takes a lot of rocks. That's a lot of energy. But even if I decided to do that, then if the pond liner needed to be replaced for whatever reason, then all of those ton of rocks or, or how many pounds it would be have to come out before you do anything with the pond liner. So I thought, well, maybe there's something that's imitation rock. So I found something called rock on a roll. So basically it looks like granite. And it's a company, they're the only ones that make it, so it's not cheap, but I decided to go ahead and order it. So I hope it's going to work. So there it is, rock on a roll. So I'm going to try lining the pond with it. It's going to take a little bit of uh, finagling probably, but I really do like the look of it. It's certainly a lot nicer than black plastic pond liner. Okay, we've got our rock on a roll installed, and I must say I really am pleased with this product. So now it's time once again to thank one of my subscribers for sending me a gift. Big thank you to Rich D, who sent $50 to my PayPal account. Thank you very, very much, Rich. Very thoughtful. So just to do a quick review, yesterday we put in the pond liner in the main pond and also on the waterfall cascade. And also we installed what's called rock on a roll. Then uh, I chose the stones that would face the pond. And then in the bottom I also placed a lot of rocks here just to hold this rock on a roll in place. 
Okay, mission accomplished. We're back with a good load of rocks. So we're gonna unload them, see if we can find where they go on the waterfall pond structure, then get an idea of how many more rocks we need. So we got the pump in place uh, roughly where it'll go and we'll shorten the lead-in plastic tube that connects to the pump and make that fit better and shorter and so that it works better. Looks like we're going to have to go back for more rocks because we still haven't concealed all of our plumbing and uh, that area that I did some, some patching. And then of course, we still need a lot of rocks for the waterfall cascade. So it seems like the rock gathering never seems to end, but it's gotta have an end at some point. Just like that, I'm out of rocks. I'm learning one thing, just when you think you've gotten a lot of rocks and should have enough, you didn't. You need more. So I'm not sure I'm happy with the design of this. Um, it's hard to know without seeing the water flowing exactly what it's gonna look like. But the good thing is it's all adjustable and, uh, and we learn as we go and um, Nothing is literally set in stone, so to speak, and I can uh, change it up if I need to. Well, it's a brand new day on the Waterfall Pond Project, and you know what that means. Rocks, and more rocks. And hunting for rocks in 92 degree weather sometimes uh, can get a little oh, tiring. And it's definitely not for everybody. But my goal is that this structure will look nice and be a great waterfall uh, pond that will hopefully attract wildlife. That's the goal. So looking forward to it actually running, but that's going to be a while yet, I think. And the last load of rocks for today. Whew. Hard work and hot sun, but it definitely plays with your mind a bit though. After a while, every rock looks the same. And when you're looking for specific ones for building, it can be a bit of a challenge sometimes. But anyway, it was a good day. Got a lot of rocks and um, probably got most of all the rocks we need, hopefully. A huge part of this project is the artistic appeal. Uh, aesthetics, what does it look like? Does it balance? Does it look pleasing to the eye? That's a really tough one and it's kind of subjective. Okay, big change plans. I really, really didn't like the stack of rocks down in that section of the pond. It, to me, just took away from the looks of the whole thing.
So I just chucked them aside for now. So I didn't quite start from scratch, but I did have to peel back the rock on a roll from the rapid section and also the pond, and also remove the pond liner from the rapid section, and then push it aside in the main pond. The reason for this was I needed to totally redesign where the water trickles down the rapids and meets the pond. Once that's cemented in place, I should be able to put some nice bigger pieces here to make a platform for, again, the water to spill over and miss the edge and go right into the pond. Good morning, folks. Another amazing day here in Cochise County. Absolutely beautiful. So this is another day to work on the Waterfall Pond Project. Making progress not as fast as I'd like, though I am making progress. So currently what I've done here is I've taken all the sheets uh, that were covering the pond, checked for reptiles and all kinds of interesting creatures. Nobody there, which is good. And so also the main thing today is to come up with the spout where the water is going to finally spill out into the pond. That one is a little more technical than I thought. It just takes a lot of careful thinking because water just never does what you think it's going to or what you want it to do. So got to do some planning in that case. So what I've done here is create a little bit of a lip. Uh, there's probably a technical, better technical term for that, maybe spillway. And so that's designed so that the water comes down and then just spills over the really larger rock right there. And as you can see, it's jutted out there so that that will encourage the water to actually hopefully spill over that rock and then drop down into the pool. So one thing about the spillway is I need to have it so it's removable. So how it's going to work here it's going to be on top of that white material, which is the underlay, and the next layer, which is the black pond liner. So what I'm going to do is uh, take this magic marker and then just uh, where you, no one can see it, mark where those rocks go in relationship to the bottom spillway rock. So we've got all this excess underlayment. Um, so we'll be able to cut some of this off. It doesn't have to be very even or fancy because all of this is going to be hidden by the pond liner anyway. We can put everything back together again. So we'll start with peeling back the rock on a roll and moving that aside. And then we can get to the pond liner and position it correctly, which is of utmost importance. If the pond liner isn't in place properly, then the whole pond can be a failure. So at this point, the big hurdle is over. Engineering and designing the spillway for the water to come down and trickle into the pond. Now we can continue to put things back together and also polish up the design and then at some point get some water in this pond, and see some wildlife. So as always folks, thank you very much for joining me here on my property. And I just love sharing what's going on with all of you. And um, I'm just warmed so much by so many kind comments. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And if you want to know when the next video is coming, you'll want to see what more adventures I'm up to with the wildlife pond, then hit the little notification bell thing, and that'll let you know when a video is posted. Thanks so much, and we'll see you on the next video.